Good day everyone. Thank you for signing in po sa aton mga lectures sa anatomy and physiology of farm animals. So let's proceed sa aton ng next topic which talks about the digestive system. So some siguro familiar na ako sa digestive system. Of course, it pertains sa kung anong imong ginakaon and then up to the point nga kung when ka mo magpupo or when malibang. So um, sin ang responsible dira ng imong gikaon, chocolate sa imong crush. Pero inigawa sa imong lubot, taigyapod. So, it is respons responsibility of the digestive system. So, medyo, ano lang ta, kay Valentine's man subong. And relate, relate lang dahil may. And then, digestive system is also a subtopic sa aton nga module 2, which pertains to one of our topics sa module 2, animal nutrition. So, this is an introductory part. Maybe hindi na ako mag-discuss sa uh, digestive system sa module 2. It's because nga i-discuss ko na subong. There is a module one. And then, ano pag ito ito mga announcement? Yes. Uh, kung actually may aram at part nga mag-actual exposure, so wait lang sa further announcement. So let's proceed sa ito nga topic, digestive system. There are different types of digestive tract according to species. And since we're talking about farm animals, so take note, different farm animals have different structure of the, their, their digestive tract. Naka-base man na siya sa ilang nga diets. So for example, sa avian, there are different digestive tracts, there are different or feature organs nga may ara sa mga birds na wala sa iban. And then sa monogastrics, they are also known as the simple stomachs. Ruminants, take note, ang ruminants, they, are, they have four compartments sa ilang uh, stomach. Take note, ruminants do not have four stomachs. They have four compartments in their stomachs. So, amo na siya ang sakto sa ruminants. And then, there is what we call hindgut fermenters, horses, rabbits, and then the ostrich. Actually, ostrich is a bird, pero may lain lagit siya. do nagpasahi lagit sa. So, okay. Let's proceed sa mga organs sa digestive system. So, of course, first must start as a mouth. Mouth is responsible for the prehension and mastication. So, it consists of teeth, Tongue, lips, cheeks, jaws, and palates. So by the name itself, prehension. What do we mean when we say prehension? Prehension is the method of grabbing food sa isa ka animal. So for example, ang pagkuha sa karabaw sa ilang pagkaon, anong usually nato makitaan? When compared naman sa the way magkuha pagkaon ang kambing and in compared naman sa baka and also sa uh, boy. So, assignment yun na na kung ano ang prehensile mode sa iba nga as ang different farm animals. So, anong pre method of prehension sa baboy, sa pig, goat, sheep, cattle, horse, and other farm animals. And then, mastication, kung sa layman's terms pa, chewing. So, wao na pagkaon and then it chew. Sino responsible? That is the mouth. Once ma-chew na, it will proceed to the pharynx. Take note, na-discuss mo din sa respiratory system Pareng is the common passageway of food and air. So that is why kung kisa matok anta ang atong ikaon, moderate sa salong. Kaya nga, ah, may common passageway na sila, that is the pharynx. And then esophagus, kung halin sa mouth, wakad sa pharynx, it transfer sa esophagus, it will travel the food or the arangi pang chung of food to the stomach. So amo na siyang role sa esophagus. And then pag about dito, that is the stomach. And take note, stomach has four main compartments. So the esophageal region, cardia, fundus, and pylorus. They are a large dilatation of the alimentary canal behind the diaphragm. So take note, sa kada part, may mga types of secretion. For example, sa esophageal, of course, halin dari. Na sa esophageal, cardia, cardia, dari, apart. And then fundus, dari, apart. They secret hydrochloric acid and other enzymes in it, ng capable of digestion. And then body, dere, siya, dere, store and also further digestion. And then makato sa pylorus. Actually, there is a sphincter here na once siya nang dictate kung pwede na ba ipagawas or padulong sa intestine ng imong food or kinakala pa ba further digest dere sa tiyan sa isa ka animal. So, May pyloric sphincter. And then after that is duodenum, which leads to next slide, the small intestine and the large intestine. 
So after the stomach, mga to the small intestine and take note, this is the main site of absorption of food nutrients. It is comprised of three parts, the duodenum as the first part, jejunum, the middle part, and the ilium, last part. So makita na lang natin sa ito nga laboratory activity na makakita mismo sa actual organs ng isang farm animal. And then the large intestine, once there is a small intestine, may major digestion na ka-occur there eh. Kung atong dili pa kayo ma-digest, moderate sa large intestine. Pero actually, the main reason sa ano sa large intestine is they they absorb water and electrolytes. So that is why kung small intestine, kung try na ka mo ihaw, sa dili nga part, medyo basak-basak pa. Pag abot dili sa large intestine, medyo tig-ana or gahi ang pupo. It's because the main thing that absorbs there is the water and the electrolytes. So yes, contains undigested feed and residues of the digestive juices, and consists of the following parts: the cecum, a blind sac, and the colon is divided into three: the ascending, transverse, and descending colon. So I appreciate that you can see the hands. Okay, the digestive system of ruminant animals. So actually, what we discussed at first is the ano fundamental pa lang so especially highlighting the monogastrics when compared to ruminants that's like i said they have four compartments in their stomach and what are those the rumen or the paunch no secretions the teculum or honeycomb no secretions omasum or book or miniplice no secretions and the abomasum which serves as the true stomachs which secretes hydrochloric acid and enzymes needed for initial digestion So, amo na siya, and then by the name itself, di rin natin mabasihan kung ano ang ilang structure sa mucosal na part. So, actually, yung rumen, kung sa baka pa ni, or large ruminant, murag tuwalya o dagway. Pero kung sa kanding gani, o sa ship, murag na siya trapo. So, amo na siya. ang ano. Ma-appreciate ito na na, may picture lang po di rin. And then, the first three compartments represent the esophageal region, and the cardiac, fundus, and pylorus are in the abomasum. So let's take note of it. Okay, so in the left lateral surface, sa munisyang makit anaton, the rumen, this one, the largest one, the abomasum here, the reticulum, and the rumen, reticulum, omasum, di pa kayo makit an. It's because there is a highlight sa right side. Okay, so there is a highlight si omasum, makit an siya. Compared sa left, nga di siya makit an. And then you, we need also to take note nga uh, amo ni ang digestive system sa ruminants is because they are herbivores so they feed mainly on herbages or mga tanom that is why kinalaman nila sa digestive tract nga maka-adapt sa pagdigest ng ilang gitaon and then when compared to young animals versus sa uh, adult nga ruminants expected pa na nga ang abomasum sa young animals is larger compared sa rumen retikulum omasum why It's because nga sa young animals, ang main source of food pa Manila is milk. And of course, kung maabot pa din sa rumen, reticulum o mesom, useless naman ang milk. So, kinanglan nila immediate digestion and absorption. So, in adaptation, mas dako ang abomasyong sa animal. And then, as gadako ang animal, siyempre, maamanan ang mga kaon sa herbages or roughage. So, i-adapt na po nila to the point nga padako ng rumen para mas maka-adapt sila sa pag-digest sa atong mga plants. Okay? Gets? Okay. When we will incise, so amon siya ang structure, the kilom, the abomasum, yes, and then the rumen. Okay. To highlight, yes, amon siya ang itsura. Actually, this is a preserved na organ, so amon siyang rumen, just like I said, don't wally ah. And then the reticulum, that is why it was called honeycomb, kahit tungod nga, may hexagonal shape siya nga daw, Honey, common, and itsura. And then, umesong, also known as the book or many plies. Okay, ba ito? Tanaw na yun. Mara maglibro nga daghang pages. And then, sa abumesong, so it is considered as the true stomach. So, compare ni mo ang mucosal surface niya, sort of the same sa mucosal surface sa mga monogastric animals. Especially the stomach. Okay. Tapos na sa luminan, comparison sa stomach, let's proceed sa avian species. And then, if we compare mammals to to birds, they have no lips, but they have big to acquire food. They have no teeth, but di naman nila kinanglan. It's because nga, 
ang ilang nga bake is hard enough to break or to grind the food that they acquire. And then, tongue is narrow and pointed. And then, sa pharynx, they open to esophagus. And then, the gullet or the esophagus, they have a large diverticulum or what we call a scrap at the entrance of the thorax. That is why, kung i-touch ninyo ang sa chest portion sa manok, kung busog gani or daghang gikaon, murag somewhat there is a sac na sa ilang chest part na daghang kayo mga store dira na food. That is the crack. Dira na yung main storage before ikad to sa stomach nila, which is comprised on to proventriculus and the gizzard. So proventriculus is the glandular portion and then the gizzard is the muscular portion. So proventriculus is responsible for the enzymatic digestion pero kung mechanical digestion, that is the gizzard. That is why makabantay mong iba ng mga native ng manok, mukha unog ba to? Why? It's because ginabutang na nila sa gizzard or specifically makatugin na sa gizzard. Kaya syempre, ang bato makabulig, mag-digest. Especially kung kakao sila mga seeds. So, tig-abla ang seeds. Kinanglan nila further assistance sa ilang mechanical digestion. And that's it. Ang muna siya. Point to that. Okay. Sa small intestine, duodenum forms a loop. So, may ara siya duodenal loop. And then sa duodenal loop, dito ni mo makit ang seed pancreas. And take note, si pancreas, ara siya pero may attach sa duodenum. And then large intestine composed of seca, two blind seca, take note, two, colon, and then the cloaca. And then the cloaca is comprised of three regions. The coprogeum, place where the colon empties. So, expect colon, tae, urogeum, in the name itself, uro meaning urine. So, place where ureter and genital ducts ma-attach. And then the proctobium, and they open the bursa of Fabricius dorsally. And take note, bursa of Fabricius is well developed in the young animals and disappear in adults. The question is, what is the function of bursa of Fabricius? So, you, need, you are encouraged to comment or to PM me for bonuses. So, assignment, what is the purpose of bursa of Fabricius in birds? Okay, so this is the typical structure of the digestive system of birds. So ang mga mouth, and then the esophagus, sa may aris siya, the verticulum, known as the crab, and then post-crab esophagus, the proventriculus, and then the gizzard or the ventriculus, after the rat, maderetso sa small intestine, the duodenum, jejunum, and then the ileum. And take note, there is pancreas here intimately attached sa duodenum, creating a duodenal loop. And then this is the seca. Take note, just like I said, two blind seca. And then the large intestine. And then the cloaca. And pakad to sa gawas. Ano siya? Accessory glands for digestion. Of course, salivary glands, especially sa mouth natin, they reduce, they produce saliva and enzyme. Sorry. Produce ni sa dapat. Produce saliva and enzyme necessarily for initial digestion. So, ano na siya. And then, pancreas, they produce enzyme and hormones. Enzyme, especially during digestion and hormones. Just like I said last time sa endocrinology, pancreas is both an exocrine and endocrine gland. As an exocrine gland, main nila nga purpose is to aid in digestion. But as an endocrine gland, main nila is sa regulation of glucose. So, ano na siya. And then, sa liver, they secrete bile which is stored in gallbladder. So, what is the purpose of bile? The bile is responsible for, for, for assisting in digestion of fat. That is why kung isa ka-animal or isang sa tao ganing may liver problem, kalabanan nga mapupo nila is it's either black and then mantikaon, sort of mantikaon. Why? Wala mayo ma-digest ang ila kinaon. Kaya wala man may mag-produce ang bile or wala man ka-ayong bile secretion. And then, of course, hindi man siling... Uh, kinala ni secret, may storage man na. And that is the responsibility of gallbladder or abdo. So, pait siya. And take note, horses have no gallbladder. So, may constant lang siya na secretion of bile. So, basi mo gawa sa inyo board exam, at least kabalala ka mo kung sino nga farm animal ang wala gallbladder. Okay, that's it. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, may na-learn ka mo. If, if you have questions, you can PM me. And then for further videos, you can subscribe to this channel and then see you next time. God bless.